At this mass vaccination centre in Glasgow, they're giving it their best shot to get the vaccine out to as many people as possible. Back up to the pharmacy bridge, get the vaccines out. Obviously but senior doctors say they have growing concerns about the UK's decision to delay the second dose of the Pfizer vaccine for up to 12 weeks. No other nation in the world has taken this stance. We want to be sure that if this delay is occurring, and we're not going to result, we hope, in uh, people becoming infected who may have been protected by having an earlier second dose. How are you? Fine, thank you. On a visit to the country's first vaccine centre in a mosque, the community secretary insisted the government's following advice from its scientists. They said that ensuring that someone is vaccinated uh, with, for the second jab within 12 weeks is fine, and that's what we're following. And as a result of that, we're ensuring that millions more people can get the first jab and the high level of protection that that provides as quickly as possible. And it comes as the vaccine is in shorter supply than everyone would like, with up to half a million fewer doses being delivered to the NHS next week. The worst time was four deaths in two hours. Today, the government launched this social media campaign as the pandemic set another unwanted record. The number of patients on mechanical ventilation topping 4,000 for the first time. It tells us we're in an extraordinary position that the NHS has never ever been in before. Uh, it reflects the massive number of patients in hospitals. However you look at it, we know the NHS is not working normally at the moment. The, the situation we have is extreme and it's having all sorts of unexpected impacts on patient care. With NHS staff and vaccine supplies both stretched to their limit, for ministers, medics and members of the public, more doses can't come quickly enough.